Hello everyone. Fireshark Technologies welcome all the viewers. Today we will learn about some networking concepts. So these are the object objectives that we will learn in today's video. We will start with network. What is network? So network is a set of device often referred to as nodes connected by communication link. A node can be a computer, printer or any device capable of sending or receiving data generated by other nodes on the network. Network can be classified by geographical area they cover, collection of computers and device, device connected via communication devices and transmission media. Most of the network are distributed in processing in which tasks they are divided among multiple computers. Instead of using a single large machine being responsible for all res uh, aspects of processes, separate computers, usually a personal computer or workstation, handle a subset. Now we will know about uh, why we need a network or advantages of networking. So uh, first of all, uh, network allows us the sharing of expensive resources resource sharing to be precise such as uh, uh, such as laser printer or high capacity high speed mass storage device devices among the number of users it is it is uh, it is a high speed exchange of es essential information between key people or organization through lan or man or um, wide area network or any other network we can simply uh, share as many inf information uh, as we can it is very cost effective it reduces the cost uh, it, it uh, shares uh, it allows us to share as many things as we want it is uh, uh, it is based on uh, fast communication information can be uh, exchanged at a very fast speed now we will know about the evolution of network. In mid uh, 1960s, main, uh, mainframe computer in research organization were, were standalone devices. Computers from different manufacturers were unable to communicate with one other, another. The research projects agency ARPA in development of defense was interested in finding ways to concept uh, to connect the computer so that the research researcher they found found out that they, they it could be uh, very um, efficient uh, in uh, findings and thereby reduce co cost and eliminating duplicate duplication of efforts now we will know about more uh, evolution of networks how it got uh, uh, how we got into the network and internet basically so in uh, in 1976 a research paper outlined the protocol to achieve end to end delivery of packets this paper on transmission control protocol tcp included concepts such as encaps encapsulation datagram and the function of gateway shortly thereafter authorities made the decision to split tcp into two protocols namely tcp and ip we will get into it later we will know about it uh, more in detail now internet what is internet internet has revolutionized many aspects of daily life it has affected the way we do businesses as well as the uh, the way we spend our leisure time count the ways you have been using the internet recently perhaps we have sent electronic mails emails or the to the business associate paid a utility bill read a newspaper from a distant city or looked up to for a local movie schedule all by the use of internet So how does internet work? A source comp, the message to be sent is broken down into small parts called packets. Each packet is given to the serial number like 1, 2, 3 and all these packets are sent to the destination computer. The destination computer receives the packet in the random order and the packet are released in the order of the as there, there is no message is restored. Now we will know about it more. 
how it works so smoothly the internet today has become has came a long long way since 1960s the internet today is not a simple hierarchical structure it is made up of many worldwide network local area network joined by connecting devices and switching stations it is difficult to accurate representation of time of internet because it continuously changing new networks and are being added existing network are adding addresses and network networks of different companies are being removed future of internet today most end users who want internet connections use use the services of internet pro, provide uh, service providers isp these are international service providers national service providers re, re, regional service providers and local service providers the internet today is run by a private companies and not by government this is the main thing that internet has taken a leap into so that's it for today we will join you in next video thank you so much for viewing the video